Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. We'll do another problem where we're doing hypothesis tests with two population proportions. Again, we're assuming large number of samples and independent samples, separate groups of people. All right, the problem says a dealer claims that more cars are purchased by single women than single men. When studying single women, 100 out of 500 purchases were made by single women. In the men's study, 72 out of 500 single men bought cars. Test the claim at a 0.01 level of significance. This is kind of a ridiculous type of study. Who would care about this? But you never know. They do market research all the time and weird things like this. So basically, the claim, the hypothesis, is basically outlined in the first sentence. It claims that more cars are purchased by single women than single men. Think about it. If you were going to propose this, if you really believe this to be true, how would you go prove it? Well, you'd have to go take some surveying, right? You'd have to go ask a bunch of single women. Maybe you have, in this case, they go and, and look at 500 single women and they ask them, have you bought a new car in like the last whatever year or something like that? And then so many of them answer. In this case, 100 out of 500 purchases were made by single women. Then they go in the men's study and they ask 500 single men and 72 of them said, yeah, I bought a new car recently or whatever. So in that time period, they're basically, they fix a time period and they say, okay, we asked this many single women, we asked this many single men, so in the same time period we're comparing apples to apples. How many people here purchase new cars? How many people here purchase new cars? So we're going to assume that it is a large number of samples here, and that means that these constraints are met. For the problem, you could pull the information out. I know that you know that this is the sample size from, from women in this case, and this is the sample size of men in this case, and P1 hat and P2 hat, those are just the sample proportions that we get, uh, 100 out of 500. Uh, for the women and 72 out of 500 for for the men. And you can plug those in here and verify that everything's greater than or equal to 5 and they're, they're going to blow it out of the water because the sample sizes are so large here. So that's what we need to kind of do in the beginning but we're going to assume that that's done. And we're also assuming that these are independent. This obviously makes sense. I mean we're studying women in one case and men in the other case so there's no way there could be any overlap. They're going to be separate groups of people. So because all this is met, we can use the normal distribution and this test statistic to get where we want to go. Now the first thing we should do is write down the data. So for the women, um, they said the respondents said that 100 out of 500 sampled women bought a car in this whatever the time period was they're studying. And for the men, they said that um, 72 out of 500 bought a car. Okay. Now notice that in, whoops, I mislabeled this. This should not be X2. This is N2. So the sample size for women was 